This is Dennis McMahon, and welcome to Positively Vermont. And today we are going to be uh, speaking with uh, Elizabeth Boudreau uh, of the Vermont Handcrafters about a very exciting event called Craft Vermont coming up uh, on November 18, 19, and 20 uh, in South Burlington. And uh, to get started, uh, Elizabeth, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, hi, everybody. <laughs> want to say hello to everybody. Um, I am a native Vermonter. I grew up in St. Albans, Vermont, um, and I'm an artist. I'm also a member of Vermont Handcrafters. Um, I'm a mother of, of three and um, grandmother of three. <laughs> And uh, I live in East Berkshire now. I've been here for the last 40 years in East Berkshire. And I um, I started um, my in my art career or my crafting career but with paintings, oil paintings. And I moved into, um, to do, started doing shows with, in the 90s uh, with um, uh, botanical, designs, wreaths, swags, I, some people, Victorian touch it was called. Um, some of our viewers may uh, remember me from those days, from the craft show days. And I became a Vermont handcrafters, crafter in 2002. And I became the director of events or show chair at what was originally my title um, in 2003. And I've been the director slash show chair ever since. Great. Well, this is uh, uh, the the uh, brochure or the poster for the events is celebrating seventy years. Now, tell seventy us a bit years. About the history there is isn't that amazing. Seventy well, years of the show. I got to look at my notes just so I get the names right. So no problem. In, in December of nineteen fifty one, two women, uh, Mrs. Rita Longley of Pittsburgh. And Mrs. Madeline, Madeline Spear of Rutland organized an exhibit, now not a sale, an exhibit of, of um, Vermont craftspeople. And it was held at the um, Rutland Armory in uh, Rutland, Vermont. And they had such, so many people who wanted to exhibit there. The, the exhibit had like a hundred displays, but like I said, there was no sales. So in 19, but it was so well received. So then the next year in 1952 was the first show. And that was held at the Armory. And um, I think, uh, you know, it, they didn't have that, they didn't have a hundred ex exhibitors, but they had, I, I don't know, they had a, a fairly significant size, I think, you know, of people who actually sold their crafts there and um it was set up i think you brought it in and people are or you set up yourself up but there was only one like register can you imagine so you had to wait in line to check out <laughs> where their stuff so that's so that's the 70 years that was the first show the first and then in 1955 this group of artists uh became vermont handcrafters they incorporated they named themselves. Um, so it, that's how that started. And from there, they had several shows. They had one in uh, Rutland, and then they had one in Barrie. And I think they might have had one, um, uh, oh, in Brandon, in Brandon also, which is a great art community too, if you ever get a chance to go down mm -hmm. and look down there in Brandon. But anyways, um, and the one in Burlington was held at the Burlington Armory. And for some of our viewers who are my vintage <laughs> and younger, of course, uh, you'll remember, I don't know if you, the brand, the Burlington Armory was where Hunt's, the nightclub was. And then it became Shana Nas after Hunt's closed. And now it's the comedy club. That's the Burlington Armory. So I find that always so interesting. And then in 1968, the show moved to Memorial Auditorium and they called it, originally they called it the Craft Bazaar, but they changed the name to Craft 
fair or craft show just so they could distinguish themselves from, you know, like church bazaars and, uh, you know, to distinguish it a little bit. And um, there it was until, and I think most of our viewers would remember the Memorial Auditorium. That's where I remember it. I used to go with my grandmother and my, um, my mother every year and my aunt. And uh, I remember saying to myself, someday I want to be a Vermont handcrafter. I didn't know that I would not only become a member, but I would also <laughs> be the director of events for 19 years. Wow. Matt, yeah. you've been doing this for 19 years. This is my 19th year. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And it is a fabulous job. It, I mean, and it is a fabulous group of people. So then in 19, um, I'm really giving you the history. And then in 1990, it and uh, they just they I think they might have taken a year off to regroup. And then in 1991, they secured the Doubletree. And uh, it, those days it was called Sheridan and it moved to the Sheridan where it's been ever since. So it's like 30 years that we've been at the, the Sheridan. So or the oh, excuse me, the Doubletree. <laughs> Double three uh, by Hilton, right? By Before Hilton, you, yep. Right, right off, right off the interstate, yep. In South Burlington. Yes, well, that's, that's great. We got to get all the details down, and it's going to be November eighteenth through November twenty, right? Yes, uh, Friday the eighteenth. It'll be open from ten to eight at night for everyone who gets out of work. We always have a group that comes, um, a family group: mother, daughter, grandmother aunts i they're from the saint albans area and and around but they come every year i see them every year i love those guys um and then sunday it's from 10 to 6 and um uh, monday no, monday sunday it's from 10 to 4 that's great now this is a jury event uh, a, could you tell us what that means exactly jury event yeah and that's kind of one of the things that makes it I don't know, special, is that it is a juried event. So, um, and we're a membership. So in order to become a member, you have to jury your products. Your And so it's, um, they take, they all, you bring your work and um, set it, set a little display up. Um, we always have it, we have it at the Doubletree in one of the rooms there. And then you, um, uh, uh, we have a jury, panel of f three to five depending upon you know what we have for work to look at um, and they review it they go through it they you know make sure that it meets our standards and our criteria and um and that's how you become a member once you are juried in and you are offered membership in our organization and um I always want to say that Vermont Handcrafters is inclusive. We're always looking for new people. Um, we, you know, young artists, a lot of people, you know, there's people that retire and then they, everything they did as a hobby, they now want to do a little more full time. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great process. Uh, we, we have a jury chair. And like I said, we have anywhere from, well, we have a whole, a panel of jurors and, and usually experts in their field. So um, they got to have a good eye and, but we are inclusive. That's great. Well, this is one of the largest or the largest such show in New England. Is well, it, <laughs> it has been over the years. Um, what it is, is it's all Vermonters. And mm. that, you know, you have to be a Vermont resident to be part of this show. So I believe it's, has been one of the largest uh, show of all Vermont, you know, Vermont artists. Yes. That's great. Now tell us uh, uh, how the pandemic, which uh, we, we've been going through has affected this. Uh, oh, pandemic. well, this will be our first show in, uh, since 2019, which was a fabulous show and so exciting. But you know, we couldn't do an in-person show. We did them online for two years, but it really changed, you know, a lot, a lot for many artists. Um, they had to find other ways other than craft shows to get their work out there. Um, a lot of, you know, several of our members retired, you know, uh, 
three, it's a long three years. Life changes and the pandemic changed a lot of things. And other, some of our artists also went to um, wholesaling and finding, you know, really getting, doing the online, um, you know, shops and stuff like that. So, you know, it's really, and part of the, uh, the other thing like about our show is that we're like a big family, you know, of, of artists. So we feed off each other. So when we get together at a live show, we, everything gets exchanged, ideas, and that's, and, you know, even other things, you know, other shows that wasn't happening. And, I, you know, that's difficult. That's hard. You're, well, the pandemic was isolating. And if you're an artist, you, you <laughs> it's isolating in itself. And then, you know, so, yeah, it's really, so we're excited. Everybody, all the people that are going to be at the show are like, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> can, you, can, can you give us an idea of what it's going to look like when people come in and uh, what the setting is going to be. Well, when you come, I always think it's quite magical. Um, when you come in through the door, you know, uh, uh, there'll be, we're going to have, we have an artist in the, in, in the lobby, and then we're going to have a demonstration booth that is going to be running three, all three days. Um, the first day we're going to have Mags Bonham and she is going to do her polymer clay um, demonstrations. And she's, brilliant at it so and then she'll be there from 10 to 4. Um, the next on Saturday we're going to have um, I mean <laughs> you know when I get doing this I get a little um, oh on Saturday we're going to have Angie Folsby Hull, Hull, Hall she is a paper artist so she'll be showing how to make paper um, that's going to be really fun. And then on Saturday, Sunday, Audrey Lim will be demonstrating how she makes her sheepskin products. So, um, you know, it's going to be great to see that. And we'll have artists there. And then when you walk into the big room right off that, the exhibition hall, um, that room will be full of artists. And then upstairs, there's going to be uh, the the, uh, the Emerald Room, and that will be full of artists, and the promenade that goes down to the Emerald Room will be, there'll be 90, 90 artists and all will be at the show. So it's really gonna be a fun time. And you know, when you come to the show, part of it is um, that our customers come in and they, they know a lot of these artists because they've been buying from them. So, uh, you know, and it, new people, if you haven't been, come, you get to meet the artists, see their process, see how they work. You know, uh, the attendees and the artists become friends. <laughs> it's really, it's really, it's really interesting and it's really fun. Tell us the variety of uh, crafts that are going to be on offer. Oh, you'll be able to find everything. I have a few items here right. um, that are actually mine. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I'll show them. Um, this, look at these glasses. These are hand blown by Matt Seashultz. Aren't they gorgeous? So okay. he'll have um, glasses, ornaments. He does little snowman. Uh, so glass. This is by, this is a hand carved Santa doll by Mita Strick. Isn't this incredible? She has on our postcard, uh, uh, she has her doll there. Um, this is a, I love this. Wow. This, this is, um, called it's a painting um and it's called uh past the moon and this is by Kristen um of uh let me see Chris, Kristen Richland isn't that cute she'll mm. be there um look at this scarf I love this Christine Pratt hand woven her colors are beautiful aren't they gorgeous um, so we'll have that also there. We'll have jewelry, all kinds of different jewelry. You can probably see I have earrings from Daryl Stores on, um, <laughs> bracelets, necklace. You can always find jewelry there. Um, we'll have wooden bowls. We'll have, uh, what else? Uh, oh, this year we have a knife, a knife make forger, a knife make, uh, you know, he makes uh, knives <laughs> and that'll be fun. Wood. Uh, not only wooden bowls, I said that wooden bowls already, but also like um, cutting boards, things like that. Uh, all kinds of weaving, 
um, oh my gosh, you name it. I said jewelry, glass, uh, books, handmade um, journals, and um, let me see, what else? Oh my gosh, I can't even think of all the things. We'll have uh, photographs, beautiful photographs. Um, we'll have painting, uh, felting, uh, you know, just a beautiful variety of things. He, behind me, tie-dye, Marion C. Marion C. Schultz. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. And look at this. This is a cape by Sue Meshner. Isn't that beautiful? Um, the, all that, all that. I mean, you you name it, it'll be there. <laughs> we have, uh, um, you know, personal products like creams and lotions, and um, so you it'll be uh, it'll you'll find it all. <laughs> Uh, you know, when you mentioned the knives and, and, and that kind of work, what about furniture? Any any furniture component to this? Um, yeah, Jay uh, Jay's woodworking shop. He does beautiful tables with Vermont marble on the top, made out of cherry. Um, small, I I could I have one of those too, but I'm not going to take it to my living room to show you. But um, yep, and uh, but I I think that oh. Also, um, metal work this year. We have another a new member who does beautiful iron work that um, uh, some small pieces and stand, you'll see those. We're going to have those in the lobby also. That's so great. Yeah. Now, what, what about the possibility of instruction? Uh, I know the networking component is important, but suppose someone is, is interested in learning how to do uh, their own type of crafts. Is going to be any, any instruction type? Of, uh, no, we, this is this isn't. It's just truly. Uh, I mean, the demonstrations you can kind of learn from, but um, it's truly just a, a, a craft show. A, a, you know, a fine craft and art show. Mm -hmm. And you can talk to the artists, so you can get ideas. And we always have a. If you're interested in becoming a member, um, at the front desk. Um, where you'll often find me. We have cards, we have a sign up sheet and we also have like cards that kind of tell how to become a member. Um, but that would be it. And, and how, how does one become a member? Uh, other than so they have to have uh, a, a demonstrated type of skill or is there a, a process by which they, they become it's, a member? Yeah. Tell it's us the, about that. that. It's the jury process. So they have to, um, you go to our, well, Go if you're interested in becoming a member, you go to our Vermont Handcrafter website and it says become a member. And there you give you, gives you all the instructions that you have to be a legal Vermont resident. Um, you have to send in photos of your work. You have to also um, give a description of your process so that we have a clear idea of you know what it is you're doing, and that you have a handle on what you're doing. You uh, you know you know what I mean. So we like to know about the process, and then um, you send that information, and you'll get an invitation to um, come to a jury session. We they the next one will be probably April or May of this year. Um, after the first of the year, our new jury sessions will be up on the listed on our website, and um, and that's it. And then hopefully you'll become a member. Great. And uh, uh, in terms of the, the way it is going to be presented, there'll be different stalls uh, uh, for booths. the participants. There'll be 90, 90 booths will be there. So and everybody has their own booth. So it's like you're walking into their own little shop. Um, you know, they all have sides. They're all lit. So and the artists themselves, of course, will be there. Um, so that you can learn about you can learn about their process and ask them questions if you so desire or, you know, so it's really, it's really interactive. It's, it's a fun show. And I'll tell you, everybody's always so excited. The people, uh, the, the members that are doing the show are so excited to, to talk about their art and their craft. And, you know, so it's a, it's a great experience. It's a good, it's a, just a fun weekend. That's great. Yeah. I can imagine since this is going to be the first live one, there's been a tremendous amount of work involved in this. Well, <laughs> just yeah. tell us a little bit about that. Everybody, everybody, the artists that are getting ready have been really getting ready, you know, um, and having to re-get all their booths together, you know, doing that. And for me and um, our office manager, Katie, 
Um, and the double tree, you know, it, I mean, we've done it for years, but it's almost like kind of reinventing the wheel because everything stopped. So mm -hmm. um, even myself, just getting back in the swing of things, of course, now we're heavy into the swing of things, but, you know, to get everything that we need to do together, we make floor plans. Um, it's just, <laughs> it's, it's a lot more work than one might think. When you get there, it seems, oh my, you know, you don't realize the hours, yeah, that go into it. On Thursday, I have a, a team of, of artists that come in and help us mark the floors because every booth has to be marked out so that people know where they're going to be. They're all numbered. We have a program, of course. Um, and then the electricians from the Doubletree have to come and put all the uh, plugs for the lighting in. It's really a process. Wow. Now, now do you, how do you do this? Do you have volunteers or is this your members? Or how is this all accomplished? And how can people help if you need them? Um, it's member. It's members. It's really the members that do it. Um, uh, we reach out to a couple of our organizations to see if they want to volunteer to help um, with our admissions program and things like that. But the members mark the floor. You know, they come in and mark the floors, and um, we, you know, the office manager Katie is really does a great job. She does a lot of it. She also does the advertising now for the show, which is new. We had another we had a gal prior to the, that did it for years also. But now Katie's been doing it, and um, yeah, and me. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Well, well, let me ask you uh, another interesting thing uh, before we conclude, and that's door uh, door prizes. Oh, what, what is oh, that going to be? I forgot to tell you about the door prizes. So every year, um, and even when we were online, uh, the artists, individual artists, donate uh, one of their items to our door to the uh, a table uh, to our door prize door prize selection um and what happens is um when you come in and during the show you can register all we want is your name we don't care about your phone number we're not this is not for gathering information and you put your name in a bucket and every hour on the hour about <laughs> we draw one or two names and you get to choose you're, if you win, you get to choose your own prize off the table. And um, it's our way of saying thank you for supporting Vermont Handcrafters for, you know, 70 years. I mean, it really is. And it's so it's really become a lot of fun because, you know, people always say, oh, they never win anything. But guess what? They won a sh prize at the show. That's you know, great. and the show is also, you know, the local Vermont Vermonters have really supported us. And so it's it's important for us to give something back also. Uh, has is there anyone you want to mention that, that may have been particularly helpful this year? Uh, oh <laughs> well, I always talk about Katie, our office manager is always very helpful, but it, the list of volunteers. Um, we have a board and they're our board. They know who they are and I'm going to send out. They're, they're a great group also. Um, and the Doubletree. We've worked with the Doubletree um, for a long time and um, they're, uh, they are really wonderful to work with. They are really great to us and we're very appreciative of that. All the people that, and they know who they are. <laughs> they know who That's I'm great. talking about. That's great. Well, tell us about the website. There's a website. Yep, you go to vermonthandcrafters.com and you'll find our website and um, you can see all the artists. Uh, you go to their their thing, uh, their whatever. Uh, I'm not sure, I sometimes we have uh, the program up. I'm not sure if it is or not yet. <laughs> you know, everything's a little changed. I can imagine. Year, so. But you can go right there um and you'll see all the artists and um i think if you hit on different names you'll see what booth they're in so it's yes yeah, it's, it's yeah. a very good site it's got uh, that's where i did a lot of preparation from and it's got all the different facts and history and everything else what well, you, we're you, summarizing and you know what else um i think on the main page there's also a taste of vermont of vermont handcrafters it's a little short video 
but it gives you a feel of what our show, that's a 2019 show that you're looking at. So it really gives you a feel of what the show is about. And yes. the, to the show is $10 and, it, and that's good for all three days. If you get come in on Friday, you can come Saturday and Sunday. And if you only want to come on Saturday, Sunday, I mean, Sunday only it's $8. That's very reasonable. Really I, reasonable. It's a a good value for you know. It's good value. You get to stop. I always think of it. I think our mem our 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 customers think of it as start, kind of the starting of the holiday season. You yes, know, the yes. And then, that's kick a, it off right before Thanksgiving. A, and that's a very good video. Well, that's fantastic, and I'm glad we we're able to uh, uh, get all this information and. Uh, uh, we are at the end for now, and uh, I want to. Yeah, you really did a great job. Uh, as I always say, our best guest is an enthusiastic guest, and you <laughs> certainly did a great job there. So uh, I just want to uh, thank Elizabeth Boudreau, the director of events uh, for Vermont Handcrafters, uh, for being with me today on Positively Vermont. Uh, there's going to be the uh, Fine Craft and Art Show at the uh, Double Tree in South Burlington on uh, November 18, 19, and 20. Uh, this is Dennis McMahon for Positively Vermont. Thank you for watching.